Well, it's been sort of a landmark in the community, affectionately known as the Old White Building. Five generations of our family have gone to Kara School, myself included. My two sons went here, my father went here, my grandmother went here, and now my granddaughter goes here, currently in the third grade. Yes, a lot of memories. My name is Milt Ritter, and uh, I am the grandson of one of the builders of the building here. Uh, my grandfather and uh, Clarence Evans built this building in 1926, 97 years ago. The material for the building, uh, the trees, were logged from Clarence's farm. I'm Cindy Lou Evans Pease. It was built by my biological grandfather with old growth timber, some of which was harvested off of Evans' farm. My mother, who was born in 1926, went to school here. All of her brothers and sisters, friends, aunts and uncles, I mean, all is people uh, from our family and, and plus my wife taught uh, at the school. My name is Chris Ritter and I was a teacher at this school starting in 1974 and I spent 30 years teaching here. But now uh, the uh, school district, Canby School District, wants to expand the parking lot and this is in the way. And so they were going to um, demolish the building if it was not moved by July 1. Today is it's getting right down there. Yeah. <laughs> a couple weeks ago, we had another mover involved that sort of crapped out, and we thought, OK, we're done. And I went, oh, no, 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 demolish. Chris talked to these guys, and they said, yeah, we just had a cancellation. We can start on it tomorrow. If something would come to demolish this, I would chain myself to this building to the demolishing ball if it came to that. I'm so glad we're getting to save this building. Oh my God, it's so cool. And it's exciting to see it being saved. We, we got down to the wire. So cool. It's really happening. <laughs> It was a miracle. If Wolf House Movers hadn't come through with a cancellation and were able to do it at the last minute, you know, it probably would have been destroyed on Monday. So this is a miracle and it was meant to be. They're making good progress on it. That's what I see. It's going slow. You don't actually notice that it's moving. This is costing us $150,000 just to move this building. We're reaching out to people for funding. I think we've saved it. It's a two-part move. It's moving to the south parking lot. Makes you want to cry. <laughs> from the south parking lot to its home a half a mile from here. At the nursery at Evans Farms. The historic Kara Schoolhouse is going to sit right about here at the crest of the hill, and it will face the historic barn. I think the schoolhouse was meant to, to come back here. for now, until August. Then we're gonna do this again. <laughs> Worth saving. <laughs>